Well, as warm weather sets in, severe weather can happen at any time, and that includes thunderstorms. So we're returning back to meteorologist Logan Westrobe now, who shows us the life cycle of a thunderstorm. Let's talk about the formation of a thunderstorm and oftentimes the life cycle that we see during the spring and summer months. So obviously it starts with the sunshine. We need that. That's the key factor to get those clouds to form. When that sunshine heats the surface of the earth, that warm rising air rises to the condensation level, and that's where we start to see those clouds forming. And that's when we often see cumulus clouds at least forming at this stage in the game. Now we need those clouds to continue to rise. We need two things. We need an updraft and also a downdraft. That updraft is that warm, moist air that continues to rise into the clouds that often helps to keep those clouds growing and you often hear the name cumulonimbus cloud those clouds deepen with this in this stage of the game but also we're talking about the downdraft so what goes up must come down and that is the downdraft so with that that's a descending air that spreads out that oftentimes creates some damaging winds here at the surface that we often hear of damage reports and this is oftentimes a dissipating stage of a thunderstorm we don't get that warm moist air rising we see that downdraft becoming more dominant and this Helps to dissipate a thunderstorm. All right, Logan, thank you. And the WBRE 28 WYOU 22 Eyewitness Weather Team wants you to be prepared for severe weather. The team is working on a special program called the Severe Weather Handbook.